All right, just got back in from our trip offshore and I was gonna quickly go over um, basically the bow to stern uh, rigging of how I have my Hobie Pro Angler 14. So starting up here on the bow, um, normally I'll have my Hobie large uh, catch bag on the front, but because I had Jeff with me today, uh, we just put it in the back tank while well, it's this Pro Angler. That's where we stored all the catch that we wanted to bring back in. Um, of course, I always have uh, my Chinook, Chinook offshore, uh, great full PFD, gonna keep you safe in any kind of conditions. Uh, my NRS Pilot Titanium Knife, uh, in case you gotta quickly cut any line, get tangled up in. Um, I'm always gonna carry a VHF radio for safety in case of emergency. You need to call for help, you gotta have one of those bad boys. Always want a fully charged cell phone, and I also always carry a fully charged juice box. You never know how long you're gonna be out there or uh, how you know your phone might suck your battery life out. I'm using the Lowrance uh, 7 inch TI2 uh, for my chart plot, plotter, down scan, and side imaging, traditional sonar. I've got my throttle mount here uh, for my Torquedo Ultralight 403. Um, I always carry a paddle with me. I've got a gaff for taking care of any fish that I want to bring to the kayak. I'll have a bat to dispatch any fish that I want to bring in the kayak that are too big to handle. Um, always carry my action hat with my GoPro to capture all the footage. You need lots of rags when you're out here fishing offshore because you're going to get bloody, slimy, gross. I like to have a pair, a good pair of scissors, shears for uh, cutting up cut bait, cutting line quickly for re-rigging, um, or cutting a line in case of emergency, you know, if you get a big fish on that you just need to get rid of. A uh, good pair of pliers is essential for helping uh, secure your knots as well as um, de-hooking fish uh, once you catch them. Gotta have a dip net for your live well. Um, it's really hard to catch those baits when they're swimming around there all feisty in the heat of the moment. You're trying to grab a bait. You think you could just grab them with your hand, but you gotta have one of these. Crucial piece of equipment. Um, Hobie Livewell XL or the Hobie Livewell V2 if I'm in my Outback. This is gonna store as many baits as you want for a day. I'll probably put 40 to 50 baits in here this morning. And as you can see, I've got a bag of probably 25 or 30 that I'm gonna use to cut for chunks for tomorrow. All right, so I've got my arsenal of rods here that are gonna be in my rod tubes placed on my Livewell XL and into my rod extenders here. Um, I did. I do also have rod extenders up here on the H rails so that I control with rods in front of me or rods behind me depending on how my kayak is spun or if I need to get them out of the way or move them up front to see them. I use those rod tubes a lot when I'm making bait when we're using the sabiki rig. If I catch a bunch of baits, I'll de-hook them, drop my sabiki right back down on the water, put it in my rod holder while I'm getting the baits in the live well and then most of the time I'll have one on by the time I grab it. This little bag here I've got um, just to keep back here for uh, drinks, um, extra ice for the big catch bag. Normally I won't take this if I have that, but um, I did today to keep our drinks cool. Um, underneath here I've got uh, my 915 watt hour battery, which I had, what was it, 76% when I got back to the beach today after, you know, 10 plus miles in super windy, choppy conditions. Um, back here, my Ultralight 403 AC with the Torquedo mount. Um, got it mounted on the Hobie base plate for now. I am going to probably upgrade this whole scenario at some point, but this mount works great. Super easy to install. Um, I've got it set up with the uh, stainless steel cables that I got from Innovator Sportsman running through the holes to the Select pedals up front. Um, I can't say enough about how awesome this rigging design is on this kayak. It is a big heavy kayak, but you're able to carry all this stuff, be completely stable, stand up anywhere, anytime. And with this setup, with this steering, I can literally stand and sit in one place and just do donuts. So if a client needs help behind me or Jeff needs help up ahead of me, I can spin on a dime and just motor off to them, you know, four or five miles an hour. I will say this has been a really great um, crash course for me in terms of, of learning offshore kayak fishing. Um, certainly you give, you've given us a lot of really great content. Uh, but nothing's better than actually getting out with a guide who does that. So 
Tell us again your, your website and your business name. Uh, you can find me at salesandtailskayakcharters.com. I also have a Facebook page, Sales and Tales Kayak Charters. I do inshore, offshore, night trips um, at a bridge, deep water bridge. I do dock light fishing, pretty much anything saltwater uh, here along the Gulf Coast I can cover you. But my specialty is definitely here offshore, deep water, pelagic, and uh, reef.